Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another Mazda Racing Products opening. This is of our RS steering wheel setup. So we, if you guys caught the last video, we did unbox and open up the Mazda Racing R9 wheelbase. One thing I forgot to mention about the R9 wheelbase in that unboxing video is that there is a app for Mazda Racing, since these are Bluetooth, that you can adjust the feedback and stuff on the base from your phone on the fly. So that's something we're going to get fully into once we get this thing on the rig and we'll dial into getting it set up and the settings and everything like that. But one thing I forgot to mention, so you have the ability to do adjusting by a phone for your feedback and everything like that. We're going to get into that later on. Base over there. Nice little base. Can't wait to get that on the rig. But today's unboxing episode is about this Mazda Racing RS steering wheel. We do have the round shape. They do also have... D-shaped wheels, and you can see they have four different kinds. They have Alcatara, Napa leather, and D-shaped and the same. This is actually a round leather wheel. Big thank you to Mazda Racing once again for partnering up with me here on the channel and sending this out to me. Definitely super excited to be getting fully into this stuff and getting it on the rig with Mazda Racing being an ESDA sponsor. You know, it's going to be great to be representing Mazda Racing and ESDA as well as on the channel. So once again, can't thank Mazda Racing enough for sending this stuff out here for me to take a look at. So time to take a look at this wheel. So we're going to get into this wheel and see what we got in this package. We're going to try to find a way to get this out. I mean, I guess we could just slide that out. Okay, we can slide this out. We'll slide the big panel out. And off the rip, <laughs> once again, always, always great to get stickers. But what I like, of course, user's manual. Is there Mazda Racing stickers back here? No. Okay. So we only got the Mazda Racing sticker. Oh, there's a little Mazda Racing right there. So you get a big sticker sheet in the box with all different kinds of stuff from flash, time, cam, HUDs, wipers, you know, ABS, pits, probably for to put them on top of the buttons. So turbo adjustments, tires, you know, brake bias, ABS, traction control up and down. So there's partitions for stickers you can put on the base on the wheel so that you can know what your adjustments are, which is actually really cool, you know, with like headlights on and off, flash pass, wipers, because unless you remember where they all are on the wheel, you're not going to know. So that's very great to have some stickers come with it so you can put it on there and customize the wheel how you want. So let's get this slit out here. Put that box to the side. And as with the wheelbase, we have a really nice Mazda bag, nice wrapped, so we can't really see what's going on in here, but we can tell it's around the wheel. So we're going to pull out the hardware, set that down there, and of course we have a bunch of little screws, it looks like a bunch of little screws, some double sided tape, and some little spacers it looks like, I'm not sure what those, maybe for, we'll figure that out maybe for like paddle shifters or something like that. I mean, I'm sure if we looked in the owner's manual, it does look like it's for spacing and stuff like that because on the back it does show about being able to move the magnetic shift paddles. Magnetic sh shift paddles. Mute pads. Ah, oh, so th I think those are muting pads to get rid of that physical click noise. But hey, I like that. I can already hear it. <laughs> so let's get this rim actually opened up here. I love the bags that, you know, Mazda sends everything in. It's so cool to, you know, have nice packaging. You know, it's the first thing you see is packaging, and these things are very well packaged. And, I mean, this is just, like, super thick foam, so it's definitely very, very well shipped. And on note of shipping, big shout-out to Mazda on that one. Apparently, ESDA is making comments. A big shout out to Mazda because of how quickly this stuff showed up. It's crazy to me that I they said they were sending it out in like I think it was two three days it showed up. So huge shout out to Mazda Racing for how quickly this stuff came out. So let's take a look at what we got 
open this up I can already see gold it's a gold in there of that quick release so first impressions of this I have not seen this I have only seen pictures so let's take a look at it and first impressions of this and this is gorgeous I love the yellow and gold st the gold stitching with the yellow on top let's get a good look at that some gold stitching on there Oh, something satisfying about a really good magnetic, a good magnetic click, as you can see. So it does have twin paddles for your shifting, for your magnetic shifting, and then, almost, and then analog style ones on the bottom for like, you can do hand clutches, which I, I feel like we're going to be doing a hand control video. Gas, what do you guys think? Gas, brake. Gas and brake, yeah, I'm thinking. So, this wheel looks so good. And it looks like, oh yeah, the rotary dials. Nice physical click. Looks like they can go in too. And these are like text, like textile, like keyboard clickers. Like, you feel like keyboards. That's going to come in clutch, that little funky knob up there. And the menu knob. <laughs> the horn button works. I wonder if it actually works in game. So this racing wheel feels super nice, and I can't. I think it's. I think it's a 320 or 300 millimeter. Off to double check on that for sure. But overall, the styling and the quality of this thing is crazy. And that quick release, that <laughs> this this gold Mazda Racing quick release right there, trying to get the glare out of there, is what you see on like actual cars and you can see inside there there's a some contact pins like if you remember those contact pins don't actually physically go in so they just I guess barely touch it so that's also crazy so forged carbon fiber forged carbon fiber on the whole backing which is super crazy LED display which you can adjust from what I was reading, you can adjust the full like sweep of the LED display, whatever colors you want, and stuff like that, which is going to be awesome. And, you know, this glance right here, this glance knob is going to come in clutch for me for drifting when I'm leaving the line to be able to like glance left and right with it right on my thumb. So the paddles are recessed a pretty good, decent back, which is, you know, great for like they feel right where I would want them to be for my hands. I love that physical click. That just There's something satisfying about that click. My Fantasec has, I put magnetic ones on there and it's just like, so nice. I love it. Love all the accenting in gold. This thing is amazing. You know, aluminum face wheel. So one thing I am very curious about and gonna be doing a look into, there is, probably hard to see, there's a set screw right there and there's another one up top here. There's two set screws and I think this ring comes off. I'd be very curious to see the spacing for the bolt on the inside to see if maybe we can put say an energy innovations wheel on and stuff like that. So that's something we're gonna be looking and diving into. But like these rotary dobs, super nice clicks. You can just hear them clicking. And these almost feel like a like a keyboard button so they have like a little bit of feel to them and you can physically just physically hear the click and you can kind of feel it which I kind of like the fact that they have a little bit of a recess that you have to push them a little bit in because you can't accidentally like bump it and activate it like I said it's so it's got a bunch of buttons and it looks like so that's where the stickers will come into play you can put them on there and change it and stuff like that um, if you want to keep this for trash control and brake bias or you can put stickers to change it so and everything just seems super solid and you have so you have a menu one up top that moves around it's a full oh and it clicks it goes in this glance one oh the glance one goes in too oh so it's it's an actual like joystick knob and it actually clicks in that's super crazy and super cool so the leather feels really nice it feels Feels like some high quality leather. The stitching looks great. I can't see really any 
imperfections in the stitching or anything like that. So definitely going to be probably wearing gloves still. Um, be very curious if the leather actually comes off on my hands or anything like that. But once we get this on the rig, we'll be able to fully see if that's actually going to happen. So <laughs> I want to know if this actually works. If this is actually a toggleable button, that's going to be awesome. You can be driving just like on a tow game, just <laughs> smash your horn in and stuff like that. So forged carbon fiber paddles and these look so good and i love the analog feel of these so if these are actual analog because it well they would be because they're designed for like uh dual clutch and single clutch stuff like that you have mechanical and you can do so you could set these as hand controls if you wanted to which i feel like we're going to be doing a hand control video now i did it once before where my handbrake was my throttle um but we could do that with this because you could be sitting here shifting and just you know go straight throttle and braking and you have you know analog feel so if those are actual analog that's going to be great and going to be something that i'm going to be definitely uh intrigued about so this quick release is so beefy and you can see it's already back it's not like where you have to pull it and slide it on it's already back so it should just snap on into place onto the base which you know we're going to do we're just going to put the base up like this to take the wheel and we should just be able to drop it on and there we go nice solid click it's not going anywhere and then to get it off probably just a nice gentle pull up and it comes off and it quick release stays back so that is how a actual like racing wheel quick release works um the fantasic ones you kind of have to like pull it and push it on but there's so many bearings on this one as you like there's so many ball bearings on there and I think can it only go one way ah see <laughs> no way oh that's now if that dinged like an NRG innovations quick release that would be sweet so it only goes on one way can you put it on upside down no you cannot put it on upside down it will not lock the quick release does not lock into place as you can see it's on there but it's upside down so it's not locking into place all right so let's put it on and let's do that again for everybody so see it's not locked in place but if i rotate it, it snaps right into place now if that made it that noise when it snapped into place could you imagine all the memes and everything like that so that's really really strong on there and that is insane and it actually doesn't take much force to pull it off. I can, see, I can use my thumb, kind of slip it up with my hand, and it comes off. But I like how the quick release stays back. I love how that is. You don't have to, like, pull it in and out. So, like, and because this has a Bluetooth adapter in it, and so does the base, I feel like you'll be able to, if you want to hot swap in, like, an endurance race and stuff like that, you can just be like, all right, go into pits, pull this off, the game doesn't pause, you know, give it to your buddy, he hops in the seat, snaps it in place, and with the Bluetooth, if you can set up profiles for, say, force feedback and stuff like that, you can have just somebody manage the phone and change the force feedback settings on the app for the next driver. You can have, if you can set up profiles and stuff, that would be sweet. Definitely something I'm going to have to look into once we get this thing on the rig, but, you know, overall, this is so nice there's so there's physical dimples right where your fingers would be right where your fingers are going to rest there's also some up top there's none on the bottom so it, it like i said it is a flat wheel i'm very curious if i can take this off and what the screw spacing is around the inside of this but like the forged carbon fiber looks so good you can see that glisten in there it looks so good the buttons feel really nice and, you know, the placement of everything is right there. So if you're sitting there, ready to go, ready to drive, and, you you know, you can go here, you can go off a little bit in the glands, but, like, you have just quick a pit limiter, flash, flash to pass, and all these buttons are pretty accessible off the rip, and you can just put your hands sideways and start rotating that knob and things like that. So, and I love the bright yellow stripe that's actually, you know, put into the leather, it's a separate piece, how an actual leather reel would feel. And just the overall aesthetics of it is super crazy. It feels super, super stiff. Like, 
there's no um, there's no flex like there's nothing and the fact that that quick release just spins on and snaps like that into place is so so cool and i can't even imagine that so some of the features that this thing has obviously this is a d1 spec realistic racing quick release which you know this is kind of the quick release you see on actual race rims on in real life cars um it you know it's or like NRG Innovations ones, you know, they're crazy. It's super robust, super thick, super durable. And, you know, only having pins that barely contact and not break is going to be so good and so epic. And I can't wait. So the LED is fully customizable. You can do full customization for the lights with, I believe you, in the app, you can do any color you want you can set it however you want it to do so that display right there is going to be super cool especially for drifting and racing you set it for flashing for shifting and stuff like that but i feel like racing you can set it to sweep correctly and then shift point for drifting it's just going to be constantly flashing at me because i'm constantly on red line um the mazda logo in the middle with the horn button also really cool um so I just can't get over the physical clicks. It's just so good. I love that click. It's just such a good click. So you have mechanical keyboard texture buttons. Like I said, it feels exactly like a keyboard. You know, looking at, you know, the spec sheet, you know, I called it even before I looked at it. I was like, this feels like a keyboard, which is great. So uh, the size is 13 inches. Uh, you have, you know, 10 keyboard buttons, 20 segment knobs. Uh, 20 positions. I think it's 20 positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. 20 position knobs. 20 position knobs. And they can be pushed in. Can be pressed. So they can. And the universal rockers, two of them, can be pressed. So these are actual bindable buttons. These are bindable buttons. These are bindable buttons in and in. Those are all bindable. Power supply is wireless, so there's no batteries or anything here. It is just through the through that. The signal transmission, this is where we're going to get into zero latency. We're going to check how quickly this stuff goes. Like, does it activate right away? If I do quick glances, is it, does it lag? Does it change? You know, stuff like that is things that I'm going to be testing. So you have, you know, forged carbon fiber paddles, forged carbon fiber face, um, alloy, you know, rim and everything like that. It's super high quality, really durable. Love the, you know, love the gold stitching. Goldish yellow stitching. Ah, it's more of a gold. That is gold stitch. That is gold stitching. That is cool. Like, the aesthetic of the rim, just it just looks really nice. It looks, you know, super high quality. It feels high quality. I love the quick release. I love how it snaps into place. I mean, this combined with this base is going to be a huge huge thing for me game changer but can't thank mazda racing enough for sending this stuff out can't wait to get this stuff set up on the brig so we're going to be taking the club sport off and putting this stuff on going to be going through the installation process of the app and how we can do everything as well as the the software for the computer and stuff like that it's just super crazy super cool and like i said these are going to come in really clutch if you want to you know, put them on there and change some stuff up and put, you know, stickers on the buttons and things like that. You know, these are going to come in really cool and can't actually wait to get this on my base and my rig and get going with this. So this combined with that is going to be epic and awesome. Can't thank Miles Racing enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be getting into the full nitty gritty with this and driving it and to torture testing these things, I say, because we're going to be putting it through the paces with drifting as well as racing because Mazza Racing, you know, is a lot of people use these for racing. And now I'm going to be really focused on getting it with drifting, which these paddles are recessed enough back where it's not going to come into play with my hands. That's why they sent me the round wheel because the D-shaped wheel it's okay for drifting, but you really want a round wheel. But like I said, we are going to probably take this apart and see if the spacing is correct. I'm not going to do it yet. I'll actually get it on the rig and try it first before I actually start, you know, maybe taking it apart and looking at a little more in depth of it. 
So, as always, I'll be thank you guys for coming back and watching. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media knowledge from the description box below. All the information on where you can get your own Mazda Racing stuff will also be in the description box below. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.